Good morning. My name is Douglas Hatchison and I'm the CEO of Best Underpinning. Today we're going to talk about grout injection underpinning. There are four specific ways grout injection is commonly used. Um, one's voice void filling, mud jacking, soil stabilisation and increasing the bearing capacity of uh, footings. Here you can see mud jacking in process where we drill a hole in the slab, we inject it through the slab, uh, bring it back to level and then uh, we just close off uh, the hole. Here you can see the boys in action, um, drilling the holes and pumping it in there. This is at the um, New South Wales Golf Club. You can see finished there, the holes are being capped. So when that dries off you won't notice it and the void underneath had been filled up. In this particular scenario here the builder wanted to go down beside the footings of the adjoining neighbour so this is where it's traditionally used in filling up um, under that footing to give it strength so it doesn't collapse uh, when you excavate your site. This is at uh, Narrabeen, we did a wall there for a builder. This one's at uh, Bondi, we're using a machine there with the wand attached to get it in. Uh, the wall there was starting to collapse even though the contiguous peering was being done right there on the boundary. This is another scenario where you can see you could use it to um, give stability to the sand under the steps so they don't collapse when one's trying to do the the footing down below there. This is a project we did for um, Rockdale Council's Wilson's Cottage, Heritage listed cottage. Uh, so they've decided to spend some money on there and to upgrade it. You can see it's in pretty rough condition. Uh, here we had to shore up the chimney before we could uh, underpin the, um, the hearth there with the grout. Uh, the wall lintels there sort of falling apart inside over time. Um, this one here we had to set the levels up so that the grout uh, finished at the right level foot so the new slab could go down and the grout wasn't then have to be cut into. The sandstone is just basically sitting straight on the sand. On the outside here we've covered up the walls with plastic, uh, cut the some joints in there where we're going to put the helical bars to hold the walls together and here on the ground uh, we've got a puddle there or a little trench dug out for any puddling of the grout. Here the boys are in action, you can see the puddle there that's left um, as we go along there about every um, 100 mil and there's just another shot of that um, the plastic to stop any splash onto the sandstone blocks And this one, you know, it took about two or three days to do this whole building here. Uh, there you can see we've even started, or well, the grout joints have been started to be closed up over the helical coils. Remember, grout injection underpinning is 50% of the traditional cost of underpinning, but only works in sandy soils, not clay at all. It has the advantage of uh, minimum soil disturbance and footing disturbance. There is no vibration and you can get rapid uh, site mobilisation with this product. So if you need any further information on grout injection, check out our website, bestunderpinning.com.au. If you need a quotation, call me on 0411 21 And don't forget to subscribe below.